Hey there everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are looking to get an app guide or template or a template for a simple sharing app that lets people share pictures, have their own custom pages that can have music playing in the background, they can have custom colors and basically just have a unique page where people can find them through a QR code or just by typing in a username. Stay tuned, I'm going to be covering the basics of how to get this template in today's video and how to use it and really just do a general demo of the product. So before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so first I'm going to do a demo of the product just to show you all the features it has, and then I'm going to show you how to get the template and just kind of the general basics. So this is the premium version of the simple sharing app from codelessfix.com. It's an AppGyver file. It's designed to be a mobile app instead of a web app, but it will work as a web app if you need to. Now, one thing to note, I'm not covering how to do security, that's all managed by you, but you will be able to use a free Firebase account for this. Depending on how many users, you may end up needing to go to a paid plan, but AppGyver has a free community edition, so the costs for this are going to be low or potentially non-existent. All right, so let's go ahead and jump straight into the demo. So I have the app loaded here on the right-hand side of my screen. All this text and images and everything can be customized. So we're going to go to the post slash update screen first. Now, this is basically your screen to share or communicate with others. So you'll see my first post loaded. There's no image with it, but the next couple do have images. So the idea here is this is really just your ability or your place to make posts and kind of see them in action. And then <clears throat> down here, we have the ability to update our page. So you'll see I have my page image here. I don't have a background image that's been selected, and then I have my text color, and then you have the ability to choose music if you want to out of the four or so options that are available. And then you can hide this or update and then, you know, see the container pop back up. So you have the ability to customize quite a few things on your page and then post content. And I'll show a post in a second, but I do want to show the people finder. So this page here, which we'll do in a moment, we'll walk through, you have the ability to click on a friend and see their page, and then go back by clicking the people button. And then on the my page, this shows you your specific page, basically as other people would see it. Then lastly, you have the my account page. And this is where I'm going to show you some pretty cool functionality. So in this case, if you want, you can click show QR code. And this QR code can actually be scanned over on the people page. So you can click this button here, which we'll do in a second. So what I'm going to do to show a demo of this is on the left hand side, I'm going to show a different screen. I'll go to the my account page. So we'll select here, we'll click my account. And then I'm going to click show QR code. So now that I have this QR code here using my phone on the right hand side, I can click the QR code. And then when you focus in on it, you'll see that the username is automatically populated in this field, and you can click add friend or remove friend. So basically the QR code just shows you your username and it's generated using uh, QR Ricket. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it, but you would basically just scan the code and it just auto populates their username. You can add a remove and then once you have, you'll see your friends down here. You can click on the friend and then view their page and all of their posts. So that's one of the premium features for this app. The second is the ability to upload actual images. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go to make a post and we'll just type in a bunch of random letters and then I want to add an image. So I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to just take a picture of my actual screen here. You'll see it says uploaded and then I can make the post. So the idea is when you select the image, it automatically uploads it to Firebase. And now I have the image and the post here. And when I go to my page and I scroll down, it is also here. So it's uploaded successfully. One thing to note on a storage perspective, when you click add image, it is uploading the image directly. So that's one thing to make a note for you. But you do have the ability to upload from a device as well. So here's a screenshot of a Bible verse. So we'll just upload that. And you'll see it's uploaded. And I'll change the post content and we'll click post. Now we will, usually you'll need to wait a second or two for it to update. So we now have the new post here, 
and then we have a post here. So you'll see all of the posts are updating in the various pages of the app. And then this way, when people find me using this application, they're going to see basically this exact page. And if I decide I want to change it, then I can do so. Now you do have the ability to play music and you'll see that's playing right here. And you will also have the ability to play music on this page if you're interested. So it'll show up on the people page in the my page. Sometimes there can be some issues with the actual uh, timer piece here, but you'll see when we hit the replay button, um, you can typically get it to start working. So that's something that you can work with if you need to. But general idea is when you're viewing the people page, you'll see that it'll work and allow you to play that music as expected. So we have all of our posts down here at the bottom. And then again, we just have the general page here. And the premium portion of this app is the ability to upload images instead of uploading images or using a URL. So you can add an image from your device by taking a picture on a phone, which would not work on a web browser, but you can still upload from the device itself. And the idea here is you can upload those instead of having to paste in a URL to an image. Now, when it comes to actually updating this application, for example, there could sometimes be issues when it comes to rendering audio because it has to download the audio essentially every single time because we're not building audio into the app. Now, I don't want to give users the ability to share audio via any kind of a link because I don't want to run into any kind of copyright issues. So I have four audio tracks that are built into the app. So if we go to the post update page and we scroll down the audio section here has a couple of options all of these are downloaded from pixabay or they're accessed from pixabay so their licensing allows them to be able to be shared essentially i don't want to give users the ability to share whatever audio they want just in case there are some issues with that but if you ever want to work through any issues with for example the audio player maybe you want to get rid of the timer piece or as you noticed earlier it wasn't working as well on the my page portion, then you can go to the my page within the app and view the different settings for the audio player. For example, if you want to remove this part, you can, you can update the buttons here. But at least at this point, everything in the application is working as you would expect. Now, if you want to get your copy of the app, you can go over to codelessfix.com. You can click on the store. And when you get here, you'll see it's a very affordable app. It's a one-time fee of $15, secure payment and checkout through Stripe. And the idea here is you'll just click on this image. You will add to bag. You can read all of the details here, including the upload steps, but you'll get the application as an app guide for file. And then <clears throat> if you want to see how to do the setup, you can click on the setup instructions. And this page here will show you exactly how to set everything up. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below, and I will see you all in the next video.